All right. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome on in, welcome on in. So pleased that you could join today. So today is day number 40 of streaming in a row, which is uh, kind of unbelievable. I didn't think that we would get here, but here we are. 40 days in a row. Yay. So welcome on in. Uh, today, we're going to be exploring this little goblin camp and getting into some trouble with these goblins. Hopefully we can take care of each section without aggravating the whole place. <laughs> but I think... Oh, I'm not sure if I want to talk to Priestess Gut first or we should talk to these guys over here first. Hmm, let's talk to Priestess Gut. See how she is faring today. Ready to clear your head. <laughs> uh, what exactly are you going to do? Whatever the absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can <laughs> tell. Mm, all right, I'm ready. Don't want to cry to go. Everybody is... else needs to leave. Oh no. I don't want my friends to leave. Hmm. And Astaria is approved. I don't know about this. Oh, wait, hold on. Did it untoggle us? Hold on. Let's see. Let's join these guys. Breathe deep and move. We'll put them out here. Is that how it works? Take them outside and then I go in here by myself. I'm just saying I don't really remember what happens. I think... Let's see, will that work? Ready to clear your head. <laughs> um, I'm ready. Smart. Oh no, sorry, it doesn't again. All you need to do is open yourself to the absolute, and I'll do the rest. Don't want anyone peeping on private matters, so. <gasps> there we go. Secret and safe. Well, secret. Psionic feelers creep across your mind like a pickpocket's fingers seeking flaws in fabric. Hi, Empire. How are you doing? Day 40. Woo, let's go. Long Cat finally got his medicine. I'm so excited because um, it kept um, getting the it kept getting delayed the delivery of his medicine, but he got his first dose yesterday. And I hid it in a pill pocket, and he was so excited to eat his uh, quote-unquote treat. <laughs> so yeah, twice a day we're gonna uh, give him the medicine, and he loves it. He, he has no idea. He thinks it's the most delicious thing in the world because it's inside of a pill pocket. <laughs> You're good. That's awesome. Yay. So I'm really pleased because I was I was kind of freaking out because they weren't delivering it. It was like days and days and days and they weren't delivering it. So I was so glad that it finally arrived at the doorstep last last night when I got home from work. I was so happy. Um, steal it, seal your mind against intrusion. So slippery in there. What are you hiding? Yeah, I'll keep a close eye on him to see how uh, he's behaving and stuff, because um, you have to give him a lower dose in the beginning, like cut the pills in half, and then um, increase it to like one, uh, like a full pill, one in the morning, one in the one at night. So we'll see how he does with it, but I'm really hoping that 
I'll be able to tell the difference and he'll start feeling better. Let's see. Hmm. We can always restart. I don't know what I did with the storyline and the first one. Honestly, it's all a blur because this whole section is confusing. Hmm. Relax your mind. <laughs> An image of the Mind Flayer reaches out to her from your memories. Help! We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. <laughs> Those parts are long gone. Um. Hmm. Pretty sure one of those parasites is squirming around your head, too. Should I say that? No. Be so offended. It's messing with your brain. You're seeing things, probably hearing voices, too, yeah? Hmm. Yeah, let's tell her to get it, then get it out. Don't you worry. What's gonna happen? I've got everything I need to fix you. Ah! Might get a bit messy, no. though. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm just, I'm curious. We can always restart. I don't want her to, like, take my eyeball or anything. Because there's, like, 19 opportunities for them to take your eyeball <laughs> in this game. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> Ooh, I'm ready. Let's see what happens. You won't regret this. Being a true soul, you know the absolute don't like to touch nothing unclean. So drink this. It'll purify ya. <laughs> you recognize telltale flecks of werejackal blood. It's a potion of sleep. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Drink the potion. <laughs> yes. I'm just so curious. I want to see. We're going to restart this. We're going to restart it, I think. I don't know. Who knows? I'm curious. <laughs> Nighty night. Sleepy time. Sweet dreams. I'll see your ugly mug on the other side. Excuse me? <laughs> uh oh. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Don't bother struggling. Oh, you no. ain't going <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> Do we still have our the eye? Absolute wants to know all about that critter in your head. So start talking. Hmm. Let's see. A mind flare infected me with this thing. I know that much. I saw the whole horrible story in your memories. And I know what happens next. Your teeth fall out, <laughs> your skin rips off, and you turn into one of them. Mm. Stop this, heal me. <laughs> Stop it! Why would I want to do that? I'm gonna keep you here so I can see every gory detail and hear every whimper and scream. I don't know about Priestess Gut. <laughs> He'll be my first meal. Not likely. You're forgetting one thing. I've got the absolute to protect me. But you, you're on your own. Nothing more than a skin suit for that monster inside you. You're gonna be my new pet. A ferocious squiddy. All for myself. You test the weight of the chains, looking for weak points. Rogue. <laughs> Dislocate your wrist <laughs> and wriggle up and wriggle free. 
<laughs> sure, swap. Dislocate your you wrist. Free of the chains. Jeez. Yeah, dislocating my wrist. No, no biggie. Okay. It seems they didn't lock me in here, though, did they? Anything in here? What's inside? Nothing. Yeah, I don't think here they even come. locked the door. Should we sneaky? If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. Oh no wait. Should mind my step. Where are we right now? Don't mind if I do. I want to go in here yet. What is this? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I'm back outside. <laughs> Let's go say hi to our friends. Ah! Wait, how can I not get to this destination? Oh, here we go. Unlock the door. Lock pick. Don't keep me out. Actually, we don't even need to add guidance or anything, I don't think. We're good. Hi guys, I'm back! <laughs> Are they mad? Or are they okay? They're fine with, with what just happened. Hello, my dear. <laughs> I guess they don't mind. They didn't come to rescue me. Where did Priestess Gut go? Is that her? No. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know where she went. On my way. Hopefully these guys aren't mad. Hopefully they haven't heard <laughs> from Priestess Gut. Is she down here now? I think that is Priest. No, that's not her. We're gonna have to kill all of them eventually, but, um, so, okay. <laughs> I just don't want to have to do it all at once, because there's a lot of them. Let's go talk to this, uh, friendly-looking gentleman. <laughs> Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? Hmm. What prisoner? The gentleman being held next door. My acquaintance is working on him, I believe. That's no good. While I was thrilled to be invited here, I must confess, I find the goblins and their methods crude and primitive. 
That's not Pain creepy at all. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? Not creepy at all. Um. <laughs> who invited you, a goblin? Yes. Oh. One who claims to be a master of paint. Pain is intimate and loving. But trying to discuss that with these creatures. Forgive me, but that look in your eyes, something terrible has happened to you. <laughs> Clever man, how did you know? <laughs> because I see those same eyes when I look in the mirror, dear one. Oh, I hope not. We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate this pain. I can't get over his little outfit. Oh my god. Uh. And how would you do that? As the Maiden of Pain, the goddess Loviata teaches us through penance, administered by my skilled hand. My work can grant peace and serenity, the likes of which few experience. It will be worth it, I promise. By all means, let us <laughs> see what his skilled hand might get up to. Liz all's into it. <laughs> all right, why not? We'll do anything. We'll try anything once, right? <laughs> oh, a story on a Something exquisite in mind. Oh, no. Both Loviata and I are interested in how you handle pain. Dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. So are Trust we gonna me. get a buff? Simply face the wall <laughs> and we can begin. This is awful. I think we might get a buff if we do this, actually. That might be useful in battle. It's really no big deal for a rogue, right? She, let us begin, dear one. she did just dislocate her wrist earlier, so she's probably no stranger to this. Hold yes, on. Yes, this <laughs> will do nicely. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. Mm. Intimidation. <laughs> Let's save real quick. I don't know about this actually, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of changing my mind, but it's the point of no return. Oh, we successfully achieved uh -huh. that at least. You want more? <laughs> As you wish, dear one. Oh, bravo! Encore. Astarian's loving this. I'm surprised that Astarian likes it. I don't know. <laughs> wonderful! Just wonderful! I'm curious if we get a buff. That's the only reason I'm doing this. <laughs> Is to get our fighting buff. Although it probably would only last for like until the until the rest, right? Uh -huh. 
Wonderful. You want more? I'll give it to you. It was a fine strike. Excellent form. <laughs> Starting's a trip. That's it! Welcome the pain! Let it become part of you. Mm. Intimidation? I'm just curious, okay? Because uh, the first time I avoided this whole thing, I was like, nope. So this time I want to see what happens. <laughs> I hope that's a promise, dear one. Sweet child, you bore the pain like a true believer. I am proud to have served you this penance. was an interesting experience. Interesting is an understatement, dear one. Loviata herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. Okay, are we getting a blessing? That's why we did this, because I wanted a blessing, not because we're into this kind of thing on this channel. <laughs> and on a personal note, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that was positively divine. <laughs> Don't look at me, long cat. Get out of here. Your world has strange customs. <sighs> okay, did we get a buff? We did. <laughs> what is this buff? Okay. Um. True. So, what does you it do? The great. Uh, pain is about to clarity. When you have uh, 30 hit points or less, you gain two points to attack rolls and wisdom saving throws for three turns. Okay, that's why we did it for the buff. We did it for for the buff. Okay. <laughs> Here now, let's go rescue this guy on this side. <laughs> Tell me where your hideout is. Ain't so hard, is it? This is kind of a gruesome episode, to be honest. Wait, hold on. Yeah, let's try to Poor get this lad. guy out of here. I could give you peace, you know. But no, you gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please, stop! Ah, oh, here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Hmm. Doing good on your rolls. <laughs> yeah, the creepy rolls. Of course we would get all those, huh? The the really really creepy ones. <laughs> I was just I was curious about that buff though because I I didn't know. Let's see deception. Um, yeah, let's go let's go with deception since we're a rogue, and we're good at deception. Let's save. That other guy is gonna be so confused. He's gonna be like, well, why did you free the prisoner? And we're not gonna know what side we're on. At this point, I'm not entirely sure what side we're on. I keep accidentally doing things uh, Astarian disapproves of. Uh. I don't know if we're gonna get this. This is a really hard role. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. Ah, uh, it's not gonna do it, is it? Not at all. 
Let's hope we have some inspiration. We have inspiration. Good, we can reroll. Come on. Is that enough? Is it enough? Yes, that's enough. Thank God. Barely. Yes, okay. Good. We do all the work, and you get to finish him. Yes, I do. Ah, take him! <laughs> Won't do you any good. He just screams. <laughs> I should have sent him to Moonrise with the rest for all the good he's beaten. Oh my god. Wait, who is this guy? I want to watch that weird priest next door. <laughs> I want to watch that Sounded weird priest. like he was beating something up. <laughs> oh yeah, beating <laughs> Why are they so what? gross? Okay, hold on. Let's let's talk to him. Wait, not enough space. What do you mean? Let's talk to him. Where's the rest of our company? Did we get? Please, please, let me out. There's no reason for this. Um. Should we ask him some questions first, or just free him? Rogue, sleight of hand. Let's... I don't want this option at the end to disappear. Let me, let me go ahead and free him. Let's save real quick. Actually, hold on. We'll, we'll be able to make this roll. This is... Even a, well, wait, what if we roll in that one? <laughs> Let's save. I'm always scared of the nat ones, cause then, cause then where are we? Then we failed, even with all these buffs. All right. Nice. We have been rolling pretty luckily this whole time, I'd say. Except for that one time, but we had inspiration, so that was all right. The lock clicks and opens. Can we still ask him questions after we free him? I don't remember who this guy is. I don't remember him, like at all. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. Oh, I should have asked him. They need to know they're in danger. I should have asked him some questions. Hold on. Um, uh, what did the goblins want with you? The, the grove. To the east. They wanted to know where we came from. No. They'll, they'll kill everyone. Please. I need to warn them. Mm, night song. Tell me about the night song. Yes. It should be here somewhere. They said there was a hidden passage underneath this temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned, but when we arrived. Um. What do you know about the temple? Any other treasure? I, I'm not sure. All I know is there's a passageway to the Night Song. Brian had instructions, but the, the goblins got him. They they said they'd eat him. I, I have to go. I have to get out of here. Let's see. What does the night song do exactly? I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroakan would reward us if we found it. That's all. Laroakan. One more question. Where is the bear? Helsin. I, I don't know. He, he, he changed into a bear. I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. 
All right, let's go rescue our bear lover. <laughs> Bye. Whoa. Can we still talk to him? No, he's gone. Wait, how do... Hold on a sec. I think our party's ungrouped. Where, where are our friends? Oh, they're still hanging out with <laughs> this guy. They would. <laughs> I feel like Lazel and Astarian enjoyed that a little too much. You know what I mean? They stayed to hang out with him. Let's see. Shall continue. Should we talk to the you creepy want. guy again? Just bash it somewhere else. I don't get it. I thought the bleeding was the point. That's not. Never. Mind. Can we talk to the rats? Looks like we can. Are they? Are they like the dark druids? Here. Can we? Not have a word. I don't think um, the only person who can speak with animals in our party is Will, and Will's not in our party. We can't speak to them. Can we speak with this rat? My beautiful, penitent child. <laughs> you have already enjoyed my ministrations. Do guy. not be greedy. I'm glad, I'm glad we didn't do this part when my mom was in, uh, was in the stream. <laughs> she would have thought there was something wrong with me. Alright, let's, um, let's see, should we go? I don't remember, um, what I want to do. Let's go this way. So I know that, is Minthara hanging out around here somewhere? Can't we just swarm the forest? This place is so confusing. Oh yeah, okay. Ooh, okay, let's go talk to Mandara. Hopefully we can talk to her without aggravating her. Can they get there? Or are they stuck? Oh, they have to climb. Okay. Crying eye. Let's not do anything suspicious while it's watching. Okay. Yeah, I learned how to deal with scrying eyes. Because it I I uh, had such a hard time until I figured out that they what they're susceptible to. Come back here. Scrying eye, I wanna see what you're susceptible to. It's lightning, I think. Yeah. Thunder. That's the only thing that can hurt it. Other than that, <laughs> I threw everything at it and it wasn't getting hurt. Okay, let's. Oh, hold on. Before we trigger it, a scene. Let's let's save. She was here um, during the day for a little while. How many raiders do we have? <laughs> Normally, I don't mind, but I think that scene we just did it. Uh, that would have been a little odd. Let's talk to these pariahs. They're prepared to fight for the absolute. What they do? Should we talk to Sazza first? And then we'll talk to Mithara. Mistress! It's me, your loyal servant, Sazza. I'm back, and I brought a friend. How thoughtful. And where did you find this friend? 
I was in some rickety druid grove. Mostly full of tieflings, but them intruders you're after were hiding out there. I presume you dealt with my prey and massacred the rest. Oh, well, the fear about that is they sort of massacred us. This mug helped me escape, though. I say we stick a few holes in her, show how grateful we are. You feel a cold hand caress your mind as the drow appraises you. Oh, dear. Your prisoner is one of the Absolute's favorites, Saza. A true soul. No, a compi. They was in the grove, banging around with the tieflings. Undercover, no doubt. Carrying out the Absolute's will. Oh, Saza, you have made a grave error. Uh-oh. And it will be your last. My spiders are hungry, little one. But before they feast, tell me where that grove is, and I may yet spare your life. It's past the bridge, to the east. Big old gate covered in ivy. Don't hurt me, mistress, please. I will not hurt you. My spiders will have that pleasure. No, I'm up top, I'm sorry. But I didn't know who they was. They didn't tell me nothing. Huh, now we really have to decide what side we're on. So last time I didn't get to know Minthara at all. She was dead pretty much immediately. Well, not immediately. She's really hard to kill. <laughs> she was like the hardest fight ever. Um, but I didn't get to know her, but she can be one of our companions. However, we do have to murder all of her enemies. Which is basically the, the whole grove, which we're trying to save at this point. So, I think in this playthrough we won't have Minthara. Or maybe, can we let her go? Maybe she comes back at some point. Can we keep her alive? I wonder. I wonder if she comes back later on if you don't murder her. Not sure. Don't know. But she's interesting. I, she also has a parasite. I think I didn't realize that in the in the first, and my first playthrough. I didn't. I don't really. I still don't know a lot about Mandara. I know she's romanceable. Um. Let's see. <laughs> um. Should I keep quiet? I don't know. We need a save. We need a save. I don't want to get Saza killed. Because we're going to try to rescue her three times during this playthrough. Because we get an achievement. And in my first playthrough, I was only able to rescue her once. So... I don't know if this is the second time or not, but... Number two. She didn't know. Okay. Well, I'll do number two. Let's wait for it to save. Okay. I told you. I was trying to follow orders best I could. Oh, no. Silence, wretch. And remember, Starion disapproves. you owe your miserable life to this one. I won't cause any more trouble. I swear it. A star is never going to fall in love with this pathetic sister. pathetic worm has brought me the information I need. And it seems that the inhabitants of the grove trust you. We can use that against them. You have a part to play in this slaughter. Return to the grove. When my raiding party approaches, throw open the gate and signal me. The fate of the grove's inhabitants hangs in the balance. Killing the drow here would spare them, but it might be better to face her warband at the grove itself on familiar ground. On the Ooh. other hand, participating in the slaughter as she asks may be the perfect way to earn her trust and access to the cult's inner circle. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Can we play along with her for now, or will she immediately send her folks to kill everybody? 
I don't know. I don't know. Shoot. I want some more time to think about it. I don't want to have to decide this right away, but I think we we are siding with the with the grove, right? We're siding with the grove and not with Menthara. But I want Menthara not to attack me right there. All right, like right now. I want to have some time. Let's just say I'll, I'll get it done. Good. Just Marshalling the goblins <laughs> is no simple matter, that's, that's but my warband will be ready to attack by next light. Once we are in position, we will wait for your signal, and then we will break them all. Oh my god, but the... Ooh, she gave us a knife. Gather the raiders. If ah! You ask your leadership, we uh, will no. you down. <laughs> Are they leaving now? Oh no, did we... Saza betrayed us, but we convinced Minthara to, hi kitty, um, to spare her life. Let's hope she re remembers what we did for her, except. So, wait, is she sending? She's leaving! Oh no! <laughs> no, what did we just do? I don't know about this. I think we just... Did we do something bad? I'm a little anxious now that we just sent we just sent them to go um I think we just sent Menthara to go kill everybody at the grove. That's not what we wanted. Menthara, I changed my mind. Come back. I don't think we can even catch her. I don't think it's a I don't think it's an option. Should we go back? I don't know. I don't think that this is what we want. Or will she just stand here for a while? We'll catch her The spiders will feed on your bones. Oh's rounding up the Nothing spiders. can stop us. I expect great things of you. When the battle begins, show me your worth. Hmm, okay. Hmm. I'm nervous now. Because we kind of need some of those guys alive. We definitely need uh, Damon alive. Okay, um, oh, I don't know if I should go back or if, I don't know, ugh, burn it all, <laughs> no, are we gonna, are we turning this into an evil playthrough? I don't know, we spent the whole playthrough, like, rescuing the grove, I don't think we should switch now. I mean, I do want to do an evil playthrough at some point, but I didn't know that this was going to be the evil playthrough. Hopefully we still have time to change our minds. Because we do need some of these guys alive. Like, we need Damon alive so that he can help uh, fix Carlac's heart. Anything of use? Are the goblins gonna be upset if I look in here? A bloodstone? I don't know what those are. Anything in the next room? Make your choice. No! I'm so indecisive. I think I don't want to kill the grove. I was saving that for the Dark Urge playthrough. But I don't know if I can. 
My inventory is almost full. Let's have some of my companions carry this stuff. Okay. No one back home will ever believe this. If not over, then through. I'm so nervous that what we did with Mandara wasn't wasn't the right thing. Too late. It's a child! Hit it again! Keep your hands steady, three. <laughs> it's a child goblin. <gasps> again! Again! Make it squeal again. Oh no. You leave our bear boyfriend alone. Um what the hells are you doing? Let's see. He's helpless. Let him go. A sharper stone might cut that fur. No, no, no. Um, might as well. Let's start a fight. We're juicing it up. The beasts came in here with those robbers. Killed Dink and Mint too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. And it makes funny noises. We made it squeal. Evil children. You see? Give me that rock. I'll show ya! Hmm. Let's okay. So let's let's use our Lothed powers. I don't think anything will happen um, if we do it a couple times in Act One. Nothing bad will happen. Okay. <laughs> no, not one. No, not one. No, not one. Okay. <laughs> Good. Oh, you also uh, yes, uh, of course. A shadow swims across your vision, and a familiar voice tells you to be calm. You are loved. But... but I want to hear it squeal. You One, little that's a true soul you're talking to. Show some respect. Sorry, Mum. I'll open the cage for you. All right, Halson, do your thing. The bear sizes you up, wary but not yet attacking. Hmm. Leave the bear to the goblins, mercy. No, no, no. Attack the goblins. Let's go. No, I should have saved, probably. We'll save right now. <laughs> do we- do we have to kill the kids, too? The goblin children? I don't- don't think about that. I didn't think about that. Are they still here? I don't know about this. Um... I thought the kids leave when the fight starts. Uh, that's what I've heard, like, at the Grove and stuff. Like, if, um, if the battle starts, the kids all, like, mysteriously leave. And then later on in a point- points in the game, when there's kids, they just, like, all disappear. I don't know about this. Is it because they're, like, evil children? Well, here, let's not target the kids. Let's, uh... Which one? This one's a, one of the baddies, right? Well, she. I don't know. Let's go, let's go up here. Let's just. Uh, we'll we'll be up here. <laughs> we'll decide what to do up from up here. We'll get these guys over here. 
the ones that didn't bother us at all. <laughs> D&D doesn't care about kids. Oh shoot! Oh no, we gotta catch them! Oh no! Ooh, they're gonna go get the guards! Oh, oh shoot. Oh, we're gonna have to knock them out. Hold on. Okay, Lazel. You're gonna have to do. An we're, we have non lethal. Okay, non lethal damage. We have non lethal damage, guys. We're just. Just knocking the kids out so that they don't get the guards. Okay, knocked out. They're knocked out, they're fine. They're fine. Okay. I've, I, okay. That is one thing that I heard that, that, that uh, you can't let anybody escape this room. Otherwise, um, wait. Can Lazel have two shots or she doesn't? No, not yet. Not enough action. No one leaves this. No one leaves this room. <laughs> no critical hot. Okay, we need to make sure the other little one doesn't escape either. Okay, Astarian. I know how much you you love kids. Hold on. <laughs> um, passive attack. Passive attack is on. Non-lethal damage. Okay, get the kid. Yes. Smack. <gasps> okay, knocked out. Knocked out. It was. It was just a tap. Ignore the blood, everybody. Okay. We just. We couldn't. We couldn't let anybody escape the room. Nobody leaves this room. Okay, um... Eat this! Jeez. Ooh! And we have these things to deal with too? They're trapped though. <laughs> he has healing potions <laughs> hidden in his fur. Wait! <laughs> Is he shooting his magical bear powers at them or what? Won't work. <laughs> Who said that? Was that freaking Halson? That didn't sound like any of our party. <laughs> that won't work. <laughs> Mocking us. While he's on fire. Alright, Lazel. Do you have. You can't. You're not far enough. Oh, there's one pretty close to us. Oh, good. He missed. What? <laughs> he jumped pretty far. All right, Astarian. I know it's tempting, but... <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good job, Astarian. A quick rummage. <laughs> Ooh, a key! I love it. Love to see it. Here, let's uh maybe we'll get over here to have a clearer shot. A rough tempest I will raise. Um 
Okay. Swiftly now. Can we get this guy? Not enough movement. Ah. Useless Gale. What can you even do? Um. Can you do a witch bolt? Or is it too far? Not enough movement. Okay. So I think, wait, there's one more goblin. He's over here, right? So they're trying to free these, um, these things. Oh, it's like, it's like a, a heat, one of those, uh, like, <laughs> heat sensors. Have to keep going. Can we get a clear shot of, or is Halson in the way? Halson, get your big, big ol' bear booty out of the way. <laughs> Thick bear over here. Yeah, none of us can even help him this round. <laughs> Cause he's too big. He's blocking he's blocking that guy. My path be true. Let's have some carnage. Asarian, can you reach? Be quick. Yeah, you can. Good job, Astarian. Again. Who's <laughs> talking? <laughs> Again. <laughs> that is Halson. Critical mess! <laughs> we were so close. Ah! They're out! They're free! Poor cave bear. Something else. <laughs> it's such a such a dick. Shall we dance? Astarian's carrying this company right now. Mutilate them. <laughs> He's like he hasn't missed. He's done nothing but kills today. Little murderer. He's like the cat. Can we get him through the bars or no? <laughs> and Helson's big old bear butt is in the way. Oh, wait, no. We can get him. Cool. Gotcha. I wonder how the, our buff is working in battle. I don't know if I'm seeing it yet. Nice. Good job, swap. Another step forward. 
victory awaits. Lizel, you want to finish it off? You want to use your fancy sword? Do you have enough room? No. <laughs> Taking position. Halson's blocking everyone from getting to this guy. <laughs> for the slaughter. Okay. Can you get past Halson? Yeah, you can. Good job, Astarian. Yes, for the win. Good job. Oh, T-posing. We love that. <laughs> Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. I can't look at Halson the same after that bear scene I saw. Ugh. Astarian uses bite. It was super effective. Yeah, I do need to keep uh, remembering to use bite because uh, it, it gives him a happy buff. Like, he's happy for until the long rest and it makes him stronger. Um... <laughs> Rogue, you owe me more than thanks, I think. <laughs> oh, certainly. But I live modestly at the best of times, and this is far from the best of times. Perhaps there's something else I can offer you. <laughs> uh, that look in your eyes, I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? I don't know how I feel about him calling me child after what we did in the woods with the other character. Um, I don't know. Or I escaped from a, a, a uh, from an illithid. Yeah, let's tell him the truth. Perhaps, but I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. It's no coincidence that you found me here. I'll wager you're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them. Someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles, but I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. Mm. Tell me what you learned about the tadpole's origins. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. Mm. Will you come with me to Moonrise? I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. Oh, little does he know that we've already uh, accidentally sort of sent Minthara there. 
Oops. Um. <clears throat> um. Yeah, let's tell her about, about um. Karga. Yeah. Korga. Korga. I should have suspected she'd take things too far. I'll deal with her when I can. Oh no. But there are other matters to attend to before that. It's too late to merely kill this horde's leadership. Their forces are already marching. If you want me to help, you need to help me first. I don't know. I like Korga. Muster the defenses. We we saw a very nice redemption arc for Korga. Let's see. <laughs> Very well. I'll go rescue the Grove. Um, the Grove isn't my problem. I'm concentrating on saving myself. Oh no, we're splitting our loyalties up. We're telling Minthara that we'll go murder the Grove and then we'll tell Halsen that we'll go rescue the Grove. Nobody knows Thank what you. side we're on. I no, know it's sorry. a great deal to ask, <laughs> but the Grove is everything to me. Hurry then, I will meet you there. May Sylvanus guide us. Asarian's never gonna fall in love with us at this point. Oh, and he just goes and and, and runs off. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I thought he was gonna come help us. Oh, I think I messed up the storyline. I think I definitely did. I thought... Hold on, I thought... In my original gameplay, Halson asked if he needed some help and... What path lies before me? Oh no. <laughs> I think I messed up, guys. Oops. Let's see. Um. Yeah. I think I might have messed up. <laughs> That's okay. This is just a new a new way to play, right? Let's see if Menthara's still there. <laughs> I think I might have really screwed the grove, actually. I didn't mean it. Is is Minthara still around? Or are they already fighting? I don't see Minthara. I think I I think I I think I screwed up. Well that's okay. I guess it's um Hmm. I guess this just means I really don't know what's gonna happen, because I haven't played this way before. I thought I was gonna know what happened, but no. I guess not. Wait, are these guys still here? Did I mess up the story so badly that these guys aren't here anymore? And Priest's gut is still alive. Jeez. What did I do? Okay, these guys are still here. Oh my god. Yikes. Oh, there's spiders down there. <laughs> All right, I guess we're gonna go figure out what the heck's going on at the Grove. I think there's a battle going on. I did an oopsie. That's okay. This makes things more interesting, right? Hmm. Well, let's do this this part, and then. Oh, wait, I don't need to unlock. <laughs> I don't need to waste a lockpick. Let's just go in through here. This I'm very confused about still. Salute. 
thy blackest blade, a geich. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. Suga na sukok. The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. Study this corpse, or, yeah, study the corpse. Let's see what we find out from studying it. This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid. The artifact does not want to part from you. It does not want to fall into the Absolute's clutches. <laughs> I'm curious, should we leave? Or... I want to see. I want to see what happens. You choke on black smoke as the hobgoblin bellows his incantation. Oh my god. <laughs> We're making all sorts of I <laughs> command you corpse. Questionable Speak choices. And say sooth, Lucan Ock, I'll call that Shulko Kank. Corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes, and are questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. Mm. Let's see, wisdom. Dig into Raglan's mind and control the interaction. we're doing this oh <laughs> is it enough is it enough yes thank god barely enough oh my god hopefully while we're doing this the grove isn't being slaughtered oh my god Rexland's mind reels then calms he will speak as you command with Raxlin's voice you ask Who is the Absolute? Who 
is the Absolute. Raxlin frowns in confusion at a question he would never have asked. Then the creature speaks in visions. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. decisions all around. Uh, what did the killer want? What did the killer want? Ragsland's mind is clouded by doubt, surprised once more by words he didn't expect. Again, visions flow through you. A swarm of Gip Yankee dragon riders, silver blades held high. Lazar's people. Control panels melting. Flesh pods spilled open. Give them hands. They know something. Suspicion floods Ragsland's mind. Your brain howls as you force the final query into his throat. Mm. What should we look Ask. Yeah, why were the Gith chasing that ship? Good question. Why were the Gith chasing that ship? You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. Collapses, silent once more. No, no, I'm not done. Riddles, all of it, and nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat. No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon. <sighs> The damned trow was right. Can't let her get all of that glory. The raid started already. Let's hope she's in trouble and needs no. help. No, the you raid started get already. Get to the grove. Help the drow in Thara kill the lot. Oh. Well, don't just stand there. Move. Oh no. Ah, oh, we messed up. This weapon the cult is after, do you think it's our artifact? If that's the case, we've got more problems than just the worms in our heads. Mm. All right, then. Uh, I guess in the next episode, we're going to go <laughs> figure out if we're fighting for or against the grove. It's a big question. <laughs> I don't know what any of that's going to look like, so I'm interested. It's going to be very new to me. Very new experience. Alright. But I think we will end here for now. Um, thank you so much for joining. Let's see. Um, the Mind Flare. Decisions, decisions. I know, yes. It's hard. Because, you know, I, I was just planning to play it 
is a good guy the whole the whole time. I was not expecting um, this uh, <laughs> to go this way. <laughs> At least we'll get to go go see a good fight, right? Hmm. Well. We'll get yeah, we'll get to experience what that's about. I'm I'm excited. This is a little scary. I wasn't planning on this. <laughs> well, all right, let's go raid. Let's continue on with um uh Baldur's Gate. I see that um hello Yinny is playing, so we'll go and raid her. But thank you so much for joining. Yeah, no problem. A little sheep uh Oh, and a little sheep, a little sheep, a little sleep deprivation is worth this twist, the evil twist, that this is actually an evil playthrough. We've been playing good, and now all of a sudden, we have to make the decision. <laughs> oh my god, we'll sleep on it. Morning is wiser than evening. <laughs> Sheep, the little sheep, <laughs> the little deprived sheep. <laughs> all right, yeah, let's let's all go count some sheep, so that we don't suffer from sleep deprivation any longer. Let's go raid. But yes, thank you so much for joining, and we will um, we'll see each other very soon. Hope you have a good rest of your night. Time for some ASMR, yeah. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll see you later. Hope you have a good rest of your night. All right. See you later. Bye. With monsters, if it, as soon as it's like ghosts and demons, uh uh. I can't do it. Ray, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. How are you doing? How's this stream? <laughs>